Well, I've been working for almost for eight years. It's one of the best companies I work for, one of the safest companies I work for with procedures in place. Um, I would actually say that uh, when I started here, there was it was just beginning at the end of the MATS program where they were training uh, people from the reserve to uh, become miners. And then we slowly grew from 60 people up to 900, I do believe that we have now. So I, I really enjoy all the, uh, the training that I've been doing with employees, new employees. What we do here is I do, if it's a basic common core uh, training, we give them the four modules that's needed for underground Ontario uh, basic common core. Um, the other training will be an in-house license to operate any piece of equipment. You have to be signed up by a competent person, which is the trainers. Uh, we also give specialty modules. So to special, become a specialist, you have to spend some time on the equipment. And then I will go down and do a job task observation and decide whether or not you're ready for your specialty module. And then I will give you the MTCU government module to do the job. We have uh, three different categories. We have development miners, we have production miners, and we have construction miners. Um, most people start off production, and they very rare do they start off on development. They start off on production, they get their time in, and then I will move, we will move them up to development miners. You start off as a minor four, as a labor underground, and you go minor four, minor three, minor two, minor one. A minor one would be a minor that has a lot of experience, more of the jumbo man, development minor. But it takes years. You don't just become a specialist underground in, in, in a year. It would take years before you, you graduate that far.